changes come from part of the framework of a math workshop, or what some people would call a math block. And they're the time when, was, um, when the teacher is meeting with small groups of students. And uh, that's been traditionally done. It's not something that's entirely new, but math exchanges is a new way of looking at how students are grouped together and, how, and what is happening in the small groups math exchanges and what the role is of the teacher and what the role is of the student. And I think that's the biggest change um, or something new to think about and thinking about math exchanges is what the role of the student is and what the role of the teacher is. And I think um, traditionally many times the role of the teacher has been to be the explainer or the holder of the knowledge. And I think math exchanges um, changes that some and it helps the teacher facilitate understanding and um, help students create, construct understanding, um, but it's much more of, a, of an exchange, that's why they're called math exchanges, an exchange of information, an exchange of um, knowledge, and exchange of questioning and the process. If I walk into a class that um, is practicing math workshop and math exchanges, um, it's something that that feels good when you walk in and, 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 sounds, and sounds good. It has a calm feel to it. Um, and that calm might not mean quiet, but a, um, a peaceful feeling to it. Um, when I walk into a class that's working with math exchanges or when someone walks into my classes, um, you'll see students talking to each other mostly and the teacher um, facilitating or guiding their conversation. Um, You'll see students working independently who have learned how to work independently and how to communicate and um, solve problems together. Um, and you'll see gr um, groups of students and teachers um, at a table um, in the classroom or even on the floor working together and really engaged in the world. And sometimes they don't even notice when someone comes in their room because they're so focused. And um, that's because their work means something to them. It's not just, I have to finish this math problem that my teacher gave me. It's not, it's not imposed, it's coming from within. And because that's part of their identity, their, their work and their practice is meaningful to them. And it's meaningful to the teacher as well, um, because she's helping, to, um, helping mathematicians construct their understanding and not just help them acquire a set of skills. I think with guided math, um, the focus has been on um, the workshop part of what are kids doing while the teacher is working with the small groups. Um, and that's definitely a, an important start about it, and my book addresses that some. But what my book really delves into is what is it that's happening during that small group? How can you make the best use of your time there? What are the teachers doing and saying? What are students doing and saying? Um, how can you really help students construct deep understanding of mathematical con um, concepts? And um, how can you foster a um, sense of um, that we're a community of mathematicians uh, and kind of change how students view themselves so that they view themselves as mathematicians. For many years I was mainly a literacy focused teacher um, and I loved reading and writing workshop and then I came to Bailey's and um, where I was mainly teaching math, doing a lot of math teaching and um, eventually working as a math coach. And um, I found that in order for me to love math, because I wasn't someone that always loved math, um, I needed to draw some parallels from what I was strong with, and that was reading and writing workshop. So, um, so I started thinking a lot about what does math workshop look like? What are the parallels? What is the structure of math workshop? Um, and, and how can I compare that to literacy workshop? And that's when I really fell in love with math workshop and started thinking deeply about um, not just kind of how can I learn, get kids to learn math skills and to know math facts, but how can I um, build a community of mathematicians um, that think of themselves as doing real authentic math work and how can I get students um, to solve, to be able to solve um, complex and um, deep thinking problems and do a lot of problem solving and really have problem solving as, as the core part of my math workshop. Um, and that's when I started working in math exchanges is, and where I started seeing that, some of that deep thinking.
I think any teacher um, will tell you that time is, al is always an issue in everything. And um, I think that building math, math exchanges can fit right into your existing math block or your math workshop. Um, many teachers have time where students are working independently on a task or they're working in centers. Um, there's some time when there's some independent practice going on and that's when um, I do my math exchanges. So um, I'm using that time when students are practicing independently to call students to work with me, just like you might in guided reading or during your literacy time, um, to really engage in um, some deep thinking.